How's it going, homies and homets? Today, we're gonna go through the new deck that's breaking the meta right now. What are we talking about? We're talking about the ice barriers. So they just got some new support with the new Wings of Guardian pack with cards like Lancia, Ancestral Dragon, Trishula's back in this pack, Mirror Mage of the Ice Barrier, very key for this deck, Georgius, gorgeous, however the fuck you wanna say it, great card to have in the deck. I'm so excited to use this in the rank setting, I've been practicing on solo and played a few ranked matches as well just to get the combos down for you guys. Now let's get into the deck profile. So now we're in the deck profile, let's go over the cards in this deck. Starting off with the Ice Barrier cards, we have three Hexers, we have three Mirror Mage, three Revealers, three Gorgeous, two Speakers, one General Raiho, very OP, very OP, three Ice Jade, run, 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 Aubergines, Air Jeans, I don't know. I'm running one Nibiru, three Medallion of Ice Barriers, one wins over the Ice Barrier, along with the Freezing Chains for the spell cards, along with your Ashes, your Maxis, your Hand Traps, just a lot of Hand Trap cards along with the ice barriers. Now, why do we have so many hand traps, you may be asking? Now, this deck revolves around this card, the Croco Dragon. When we summon the Croco Dragon through our basic combo, along with the Coral Dragon, we draw four cards that turn, and we have around seven, eight cards in our hands on our turn, and you draw all these hand traps, that's negates, 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 just plenty of negates that you could do. Stop them from drawing cards. Just hit them with the big boy meteorite Nibiru as well. Now, if we look at the ice barrier cards, Hexa. While you control another ice barrier monster, monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense. Revealer. While you control another ice barrier monster, your opponent cannot tribute summon. Gorgeous. We're gonna call him Gorgeous for the remainder of this video. While you control another ice barrier monster, your opponent cannot activate the effects of their monsters in the graveyard. Speaker. While you control another Ice Barrier monster, defense position monsters your opponent controls cannot change their battle position. General Raiho, this card, very good card. When your opponent's monster effect activated on the field resolves, they must discard one card or the effect is negated. So they need cards in their hand and they need to be willing to lose those cards in their hand to actually activate the effect. So you have to make them make a choice to see if it was worth it to actually activate that effect. So they either lose a card or they don't activate that effect. Brilliant. Let's take a look at our extra deck. So we have the Coral Dragon and the Croco Dragon. We have the White Aura Whale at level 8. We got Drag Eye at level 8 as well. Great card. We've got Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Now there is a level 11 Trishula that I do want in this deck. I'll make sure to add this card to the deck list below in the description. I just couldn't afford it. I need a bit more UR points to actually get it. Instead, I'm going for Apollo USA or Palooza as the filler in the deck. We also have Little Knight, Anemone, uh, Salomon Great Almirage is key, Typhon, great generic in our extra deck, two Lanciers. We also have Ice Jade, Gimir, Aubergine, Ergin, Egerin, however you spell it. Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign, Cheng Ying, amazing card. Baron de Fleur, obviously. And Trishula, the Dragon of the Ice Barrier. That's the deck profile. Let's get into some combos right now. Ah, she. 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 Now we loaded in, we're going with one of the most basic combos. I'm going to try and show you guys the combos at the best of my ability. It's been a few hours trying to learn the combos, but if you start with Hexa, Spirit of the Ice Barrier and a Gorgeous, you're set for the very first combo. So this is the one card combo. We're going to pretend we don't have Gorgeous in our hands. So first things first, we're going to summon Hexa onto the field. Activate its effect. With its activation, we send Mirror Mage into the graveyard and activate its effect, which in turn is going to let us get a card into our hand, which is broken. We get Medallion of the Ice Barrier, which is the search of this deck. So after we take the Medallion, we're still pretending Gorgeous isn't here. We activate the Medallion. We're going to get Speaker into our hand. Activate Speaker's effect to special summon it onto the field. You can only do this when there's another ice barrier on the field. And then we're going to special summon. We're going to link summon into Anemone. Sending both of them to the graveyard. And then bada boom bada bing we have Anemone on the field. Activate Anemone's effect to bring back Mirror Mage onto the field. And then activate Mirror Mage's effect. 
activate Mirror Mage's effect to pop Anemone and bring out the three tokens that Mirror Mage's effect brings onto the field. And with this, Mirror Mage becomes level five. Five plus one is six. You know what deal it is. It's Mirror Mage plus one token to make Coral Dragon. Now you're, you might be wondering, well, Kai, that's only the Coral Dragon. How do we get to Croco Dragon? I got you, fam. So since we sent Speaker into the graveyard, we're going to activate its graveyard effect, which is going to banish itself and also summon one more token for us to use. And of course, what do we do then? We send Coral Dragon and three of the tokens to the graveyard and use it to Synchro Summon into Croco Dragon. Activate both effects and draw four cards. Great first turn. And there we go, 5,000 attack. And we also have two maxis, one Forbidden Droplet and an Infinite Impermanence to disrupt our enemy's hand when they go next. We can also use this effect so we can discard two cards then target one card on the field and destroy it. But that will inevitably bring down its attack by two cards, which it gains 500 for each card in our hand. So there you go, guys. That's the one card combo that we can do to get Croco Dragon out onto the field. And now let's move on to combo two. So combo two, we pull a Revealer and a Gorgeous. First things first, we're going to summon the Revealer straight onto the field. Activate its effect. Discard any card from your hand. We're going to discard Max C for the sake of this video. And then special summon Hexa onto the field. Now from here, it's pretty basic stuff like combo one. We send Mirror Mage to the graveyard. Activate Mirror Mage's effect in the graveyard. And then add to your hand a medallion of the barrier and from here we're gonna go straight into our link to summon like the previous combo into anemone anemone is gonna bring out mirror jade from the graveyard once again we're back to the same combo and uh, mirror jade mirror jade is gonna pop anemone we're gonna get the three cards out special summon another monster yes we special summon three of the tokens and once again, what does 5 plus 1 do? Brings out Coral Dragon. So we get the Coral Dragon out. And now with Gorgeous in our hand, we activate its effect, special summon it onto the field. And in turn, by activating its effect, we can special summon Revealer back onto the field. Go into our extra deck. Coral Dragon and Revealer can get you access to, can get you access to Chengying, can get you access to Lancia, any level 10, Aubergine, whichever level 10 that you want. For this, for the sake of this video, we're gonna go with Lancia, which is usually our normal uh, summon as well. And after we summon Lancia, we could activate Coral Dragon's effect to draw another card. Medallion here was in case we didn't have Gorgeous. We could use the Medallion to search for Gorgeous, bring him out. And from here with Gorgeous, we can special summon into Dragite. Now with Dragite, the first bit of its effect it's pretty useless in this deck since we don't have many rock monsters. However, with the second one, when you when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, while a water monster is in our graveyard, you can negate the activation and destroy it. There is always water monsters in our graveyard. I have never seen a case where this was on the field and there wasn't a single water monster in the graveyard. But there you go. You can continue to extend this with Medallion of the Barrier. If we use Medallion in this situation, get any water monster. So any ice barrier that we want, let's get speaker for example, so we can get a token as well. This is going to activate ice jade's effect, which we can discard speaker. Play ice jade face up. Now what is ice jade going to do? It's going to summon a level three token, very broken. And now we can summon another level 10, depending on the situation. If you have banished cards, if your opponent has banished cards, we go for Cheng Ying. If not, you could go for Aubergine, Azurine, Gamir, whatever her name is, or we could get our second Lancia. But in this situation, I would go for Aubergine, summon Aubergine. And just like that, in turn one, we have three, almost three boss monsters on the field. And that's combo two. Now let's get on to combo three. Now combo number three, you have a Hexa in hand and a Gorgeous in hand. This is one thing you could do in Master Duel. We're going to summon Baron de Fleur. So first things first, we summon Hexa. We activate its effect. With its effect, we send Magic Mage to the graveyard and we get Speaker into our hand. Now, with Speaker, we activate Speaker's effect. 
We special summon it onto the field. And then we grab Gorgeous, activate Gorgeous' effect. Summon Gorgeous onto the field as well. Activate Gorgeous' effect to bring out Mirror Mage from the graveyard. And bada boom, bada bing, just like that, we have Baron the floor able to be summoned. And then from here, we could keep this going. So Baron the floor is summoned straight off turn one. And from here, we could extend it, pop uh, Hexa to get the tokens out onto the field. And then with the tokens, you already know what it is. We get Coral Dragon out. We have Speaker as well. So Coral Dragon's out. We have Speaker in the graveyard as well. So with Coral Dragon out, we activate effect, activate the effect of Speaker, banish it into the graveyard, summon another token, and you know what time it is already. Croco, Draco, Coco, Drago, Coco Pops is coming back onto the field. We could also get Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier as well. Uh, this is very strong as well. When this card is synchro summoned, you can banish up to one card each from your opponent's hand, field, and the graveyard. So all three, you choose one from the field, one from the graveyard and one from their hand very good indeed but for the sake of this video we're gonna summon coco pops boom and then we draw three cards with the coral dragon we draw four more cards we don't activate any more effects now we drew an ice jade and a medallion this is another combo extender so we've already had we already have baron the fleur on the field we already have coco pops on the field now what can we do we could get ice jade onto the field discard any other cards in our hand let's discard speaker don't activate any other effects ice jade special summon its token and you know what time it is a level 10 is coming out and that's gonna be lancia so just off this combo we have baron the fleur we have coco pops and we also have Lancia, the ancestral dragon of the mountains. Now let's end our turn against the AI and show you what this deck is capable of with the floodgates that it could do. Now, since we have Lancia, we're gonna wait for him to special summon. And there we go, the AI has special summoned. We're gonna activate Lancia's effect to one, special summon one of our ice barrier cards onto the field. This can also be Trishula. I don't have the other Trishula yet, but there is two key cards that we go for, that we look for with this summon. One is General Ryo. You can special summon him and just get him to start using his cards, discarding his cards to activate his own effects. Or two, we go for Speaker. Now with Speaker, the opponent cannot change the defense position monsters he controls into attack position. So what this means is, with Lancia's other effect, he's locked into a defense position monster that he just special summoned, probably to try and destroy us. And that's it for the combos. I'm excited to try this in ranked. I'm only silver at the moment because we were doing a series to get up to masters with tri brigades. I'm going to try this deck in ranked as well. So let's just get into some silver games. We'll do three games and I'll just show you how they are. We are now silver five. Let's see if we can rank up with the ice barriers. They're going to choose whether we go first or second. Remember, our deck is a first going deck. If we don't go first, it's not the end of the world, but we do usually want to go first nope okay coin toss this time we win let's go first now once again i'm gonna try my best to get the combos down for you guys just so you can understand how good this deck is now we start with an all right hand mirror mage of the ice barrier is our is going to be our first card and straight off we're gonna pop it with salomon great almirage our opponent's already thinking from our summon So we pop Mineral Jade into the graveyard, activate its effect. So we're going to bring it back with Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. Use it to re-summon Mirror Jade back onto the field. There we go. And now we're going to pop, we're going to go into our basic combo. We're going to pop Almirage. Oh, Infinite Impermanence. So he's not letting me pop Almirage. Wait, he is, but I don't think I'm going to get my... So he just impermed us. So here, what we can do is we could summon Speaker. 
just going to show you guys. If we want, we could go into Coral Dragon or we could go into any of the links, but we don't want to do that. We're going to play wins over the Ice Barrier to tribute our Mirror Mage. We're going to keep Speaker. So we're going to get Revealer onto the field. Revealers, we're going to activate Revealer's effect to discard Nibiru from our hand. And then we're going to Special Summon Gorgeous onto the deck, onto the field. Now we can activate Gorgeous's effect as well to bring Mirror Mage back onto the field. And from here, we could go into Lancia. We could go into Chengying, but we're going to go into Lancia using our level six. And one of the level twos, we're going to go for Revealer. Uh, one of the level fours, we're going to go for Revealer. Since we can't activate Mirror Jade, we don't want to go into the Anemone or Anemone. So we're going to go straight into Coral Dragon. Send Speaker into the graveyard. And with that, we can end our turn and see what our opponent does. He knew to imper my Mirror Jade, my Mirror Mage. It does look like he knows what he's doing. And he draws Chaos Summoning Beast. Okay. Not the best start. If we didn't get impermed and our hand was a bit eh. But it's fine. As you can see, we still have our Lance here on the field. We still have our Coral Dragon. So he normal summons Dark Beckoning Beast. He can add one of these cards into his hand. And he adds... Uh, which one was that? Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder. Okay. He's trying to go for an OTK. He's going to special summon a card right now. This is where Lancia is going to come in. Boom. There we go. And then we activate Lancia's effect. We are going to special summon. Speaker. And then change the battle position of Hammond. There we go. So now he's stuck in defense position. He can't do anything about it unless he actually gets rid of my speaker. He draws two cards. While this card is in face-up defense position, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters for attacks except this one. So we can't attack any of the other monsters apart from this one. But he can't take that out of defense position. Oh, there we go. There's another special summon. Remember, Lancia's effect is once per chain. So every time he special summons, we could just keep doing it. We could just keep doing it. So let's see what's going to happen now. There we go. And now we activate the effect again. Let's bring out Ryo from our hand. So he has to start discarding cards. Change the battle position of a monster. So we can never turn them around into attack position. Okay, here we go. There's another summon. Pedal Plant, Verte Anaconda. I can't turn this into defense position since it's a link monster. Come on, my guy. Let's go. He's really thinking. He doesn't know how to out it. He's just summoned Predator Plant. Okay. So he's going to add another card from his hand. It's a shame we couldn't go into Coco Dragon. So he's going to Ravel. 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 Lord of the Phantasms. Now let's see who comes out on top. The Lords or Ice Dragon Boy. Oh, he's actually using it. Now I need to make sure that there's space on the field so I can switch uh, them round. So he's going to go into Typhon Sky Striker. Oh, because he's not going to allow me to use my effects because it's 3,000 or more. Smart play. Oh, there we go. I don't think he was able to play anything else because he was still locked in. And the opponent surrendered. The opponent just rage quit. That's how good this deck is. Now let's go into game two. And we're going second. Okay. This hand is all right. We go Revealer. We have Medallion. It's absolutely fine. We're going to go Revealer into Hexa. Hexa, Magic Mage into the graveyard. Magic Mage is going to bring out Speaker or Medallion into our hands. But we'll take the Speaker because we already have a Medallion. Uh, let's see what they're playing. Chain Energy. Okay. Each player must pay 500 life points per card to normal summon. Oh. Oh, he's playing it like that. Okay. During our... Oh, come on. It's a burn deck. During each of your standby phases, inflict damage to both players. This damage begins at 200 and is doubled during each of your following standby phases. Um, sure. I think it's important to get rid of that card first. 
500 life points per card to normal summon special summon if i get gorgeous with medallion and then go with baron de fleur all right so we're gonna try and get baron de fleur out i'm gonna use my life points as a resource this is gonna be five summons so we're gonna lose 2500 life points but i think as soon as we get rid of that card it's not gonna be that big of a deal so let's go into hexa we're gonna activate its effect we're going to send magic mage yes we don't want to use medallion because medallion is going to cost us life points uh speaker yes please oh why did why did it do it twice then gorgeous oh my god what even if i activate effects a uh, magic mage wait no i don't mm, i could have it doesn't matter. Let's go. Oh, that one didn't do anything. And now we go into Baron. Baron de Fleur. And we're going to definitely destroy that card because that card is fucking disgusting. So let's get rid of that real quick. And then with this, we could pop our Hexa. To summon three tokens yes summon another token summon another token go into coral dragon you know the deal already and since we have speaker on the field as well we could go into croco and i think that's game let's see activate send speaker to the banish zone summon a token because we're gonna draw some cards right now. Now we're going into Croco Pops. Croco Pops is gonna pop our enemy. Hopefully he doesn't have any hand traps that's gonna stop me from uh, doing what I need to do. Six, seven, eight. That's, I think this is game. Let's see. If I'm able to attack, this should be game. Resolve, draw my cards, that's 3,500. Six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. Um, does that during each of your inflict damage? Yep. And battle phase. If this goes through, it's GG. Get out of here with your burn deck, boy. Get out of here with your burn deck. This is Ice Barriers. Ice Barriers OTK. Turn 2 OTK. Come in here with your burn deck, trying to burn me out. Move yourself. And with that, we're now Silver 4. And on to game 3. So, so far we've had one OTK, one Rage Crit. Let's see how this is going to end up. We're never winning coin tosses though. Um, let's see if he's going to make us go first or second. This is looking like a Blue Eyes Nostalgia deck. We are going to go first. Thank you, my friend. Now let's draw a nice hand so we can start off strong. That hand is okay. We have Gorgeous. It's not too bad. We have Freezing Chains in our hand already. So... This is how we're going to play it. We go Magic Mirror, Al Mirage. And then Al Mirage is going to send Mirror Mage into the graveyard. And from the graveyard, we are going to bring back normally Freezing Chains. Because Freezing Chains is in our hands, we could get Medallion. And with that, we play Freezing Chains to get Mirror Mage back. Yes, sir. And we're going to use Mirror Mage to pop our Mirage. You already know the deal, guys. How many times have we done this before? Summon another monster. Yes, please. With the amount of tokens we summon, the Mirror Mage's uh, level goes up as well. And there we go. From here, we go into Coral Dragon. From here, we could... Now, before we move on, we activate Medallion so we can have more cards on the field. I don't want to end up with just Coco Pops. We bring Speaker. Speaker is going to special summon itself. Play Speaker in defense position. Get Coral Dragon out. Where are you, my friend? There you are. 5 plus 1. 
it equals Coral Dragon. If your teacher asks you what 5 plus 1 is, just tell them it's Coral Dragon. They're going to be like, Coral, what? And there we go. And now with Coral Dragon in play, we can still play a few cards. We have 4, 5, 6. We're going to Special Summon. I might have messed this up a bit. This kind of shit. Oh, 100%. Oh, no, 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 no. 100% we're going with Lancia. We use Coral Dragon and Speaker. This is the combo. It's not shit. Okay, I remember now. So we go into Lancia. Boom. Now we have Lancia. We draw one card with Coral. Called by the grave. Perfect. You know what we do now? 7, 8. We activate Speaker in the graveyard. That gives us 9. You know what 9 gives us? Quick Maths. Now with 9, we could summon either Trishula or Croco Pops. Uh, but we're going to go with Coco Pops because... Uh, Trishula's effect is not suitable right now because he hasn't played any cards since Trishula vanishes from the field, graveyard and the hand. So what we want to do is we want to go Coco Pops and draw some cards. Get more hand traps. We have two frame gears. I don't want frame gears. Now let's draw three cards. We got an Ice Jade, we got a Maxi, we got an Ash and it's looking like a perfect turn to end turn. Now we have a Lancia for their special summons. We have a Coco Pops to, to destroy if we need to. And we have Ash, we have Frame Gear, we have Maxi. Frame Gear is not going to do much. But we have Called by the Grave as well. So our hand is ready to negate. And we have two powerful monsters on the field. Now he's probably going to play Blue Eyes White Dragon. Just judging from his icon and his mate. If he plays anything apart from Blue Eyes White Dragon. He might play Slifer but I doubt it. There we go, Blue Eyes. Send one blue eyes monster. Yep. Oh no. Then target one face monster on the field. It cannot attack while it is face up on the field. I don't need to attack. It's fine. It's 4,000 attack, but I'll just use it to negate. Discard one level 8 monster. Draw two cards. Ash Blossom, that shit. You just discarded two cards for an Ash Blossom. This is why. This is why. This is why. So guys, you see, because we had so many hand traps and two powerful monsters on the field, now we just interrupt his gameplay. And now it's our turn. He ends turn with an open uh, open field. And this is just free pickings. We pull Revealer, but we're going to play Ice Jade. Revealer's perfect. We activate Ice Jade's effect. Discard Revealer. Play Ice Jade face up. Have it summon the ice token at level three, and you know what the deal is. This is looking like another two turn kills. Let's go with a does he have any banished? Nope. Uh, we could go with another Lancia. Wait, let's see. We have three 6,600 plus 1,500, just not enough because I can't attack with him now. For negates, I can get this just to control the field a bit more. Uh, yeah, let's 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 try this one out this time. So let's get out, let get out Aubergine. So let's get out Aubergine. We haven't summoned her so far. So there we go. Now Aubergine, we can always. Um oh wait, hold on. Six thousand six hundred. Ah, uh, now it's not OTK because I can't attack with Coco Pops unless I can this turn. If I can, no, I can't. Okay. So that's a staggering 6,300 life points already in one turn. We're going to end turn real quick. And then let's see what he can do with three plus one cards in his hand. And there we have it. There's another sweep. sweep. One more time. So there you have it, guys. That was the Ice Barrier deck with the new supports. And you could just see how dominating it is in ranked right now. I will be also doing a series with this deck. If you want to watch more of the Ice Barrier, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click here for our Rookie to Master series with the Tri Brigade branded deck. Thanks for watching. Peace out.